What's up, Max here with Home Methods. In this video, I will review the best sound bars in 2018. You find all of the product links in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Let's go. For the best overall soundbar, I went with the Yamaha Jazz 107BL and it goes for about $150 right now on Amazon Prime and it's rated 4.5 out of 5 but about 500 reviewers. And what's really cool about this soundbar is that it has a very sleek design. It looks awesome on a wall mount or just on a tabletop. I really like the design of this soundbar. It's also Bluetooth enabled which is awesome. It handles a 5.1 sound system perfectly. It is very easy to set up and you have multiple controls methods which is great. What I don't like is that it doesn't integrate well with extra speakers and you might have to buy a premium HDMI cable to get the best out of this soundbar but overall it's an awesome product definitely check it out on Amazon. Number two the best high-end soundbar I went with this Sonos and it goes for about $700 right now on Amazon Prime and it's rated 4.5 out of 5 by about 1000 reviewers and what I love about this soundbar is that it has nine speakers drivers and you have a true tuning app that customizes the play bar specifically for your room which is an actually a quite cool feature and you can gradually build out your entire home with Sonos play bars because they connect together which is awesome as well what I don't like is that you do not have an HDMI hookup and the app needs to be on the same Wi-Fi as the play bar without that it's not going to work but overall Sonos is a great option if you're looking for a high premium product so definitely check it out on Amazon number three the best budget soundbar I went with the Wu home TV soundbar and it goes for about hundred dollars right now on Amazon Prime and it's rated 4.5 out of 5 five by about 170 reviewers. And what's really cool about this product is that you have six drivers in it, included wall mount brackets. You have Bluetooth and multiple hookup options, which is awesome. What I don't like is that the pairing with this device can be a little bit tricky and the remote has some issues, but other than that, it's a great product for hundred dollars definitely check it out on Amazon if you want to spare some money. Number four, the best 2.1 soundbar I went with a Vizio and it goes for about $150 right now on Amazon and it's rated 4.5 out of 5 by about 200 reviewers. And what's really cool about this product is that you get a wireless subwoofer with it. It has Bluetooth and it's very easy to mount on the wall which is a great feature. What I don't like is that the remote can be a little bit tricky and it doesn't pair with other devices like super well, but overall it's a decent product. If you like Vizio products, definitely check it out on Amazon. Number five, the best soundbar if you have trouble hearing. I went with a C-Box and it goes for about $250 right now on Amazon Prime and it's rated 4.5 out of 5 by about 150 reviewers. What's really cool about this product is that it has a streamlined design that looks great. You have built-in wall hanging slots and you have an output leveling feature, which is actually quite cool. What I don't like is that you do not get Bluetooth with it and it's not the best audio on the market, but it's, it's a decent product. So if that sounds interesting to you, link to it down below. If you wanna learn a little bit more about what play bar you should get and you wanna read about like a buyer's guide of what you think about, definitely check out our article on homemethods.com. I have a link to that down below as well. I have more videos, images, and just some general information that you need to know before buying a soundbar for your home. So yeah, definitely check it out. As mentioned, overall, I recommend the Yamaha Jazz. And if you wanna do for a premium, definitely go with the Sonos. A lot of people know about the Sonos, but Yamaha is a great option for the money you spend. You know, it has most of the popular functions like Bluetooth, HDMI, uh, optical hookup, uh, built-in subwoofers and multiple control options. So the Yamaha is a great, great pick. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Also, let me know in the comment section below what soundbar you like the best and why I reply to all of the comments myself. See you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.